From going from the first sketch really to a finished car we did in seven months, it was a, a really, really quick um, program for us. It was very intensive, but in some ways that's really good because sometimes when you've got too much time, the ideas maybe get a bit watered down and you maybe are not as bold as you could be. But when you've got a very, very short space of time, you, you kind of nail things, you really kind of, you just come up with ideas and the ideas really, you know, evolve and, and before you know it, you've got a really cool concept. So we're here in New York with the XB9F concept car. We've got these amazing headlights. I mean, those in themselves are a work of art. They're really inspired by sort of, you know, engineering and technology. You can see that it can be a daytime running light, it can be an indicator, and you can still let the air in. And it's such a unique design to have this vent and light combined together. That we've designed in a lot of flexibility into this car. We really understand what, how it could be used. But the, the great thing about the design at the back of the car is not only have you got these integrated hampers, but we've also got like control panels. So these knurled buttons here control the seats. So just from the back of the car, you can recline the seats, you can push them out of the way, you can bring out the blind to give you some protection if it's a shower or it's hot. You have an iPad in here, so if you're watching a race, you can watch maybe some of the footage where, where you can't see. The, these standing surfaces can actually be turned upside down and turned into seats, so there's like a soft pad underneath there. And we have um, micro umbrellas which are fitted into the back of the car. They're actually uh, in a certain position, so we've used the exhaust gases from the, from the exhaust to, to root round to basically warm up the housing. So if you have a, you're using the umbrella and it's on a wet day obviously and you put the thing back, um, th that heat will actually drive them out. So when you next get them out, they're already dry, they're not damp. In all the doors, we've put a mini flashlight in every door. So again, it's just to hand these, these items. They're a lot of details really, but, but our customers really like that sort of thing. So we've got these kind of contrasts of soft leathers and saddle leathers, you know, very fine sewing and robust sort of thick sewing, which is really strong and gives you that feeling of, of strength in the car. We've got this wonderful timber dashboard that runs right through the car here. And then on the steering wheel, which has got a wood bin, where, where you'd hold the steering, where you want to get that, those sort of extra grip, we've checkered the wood, which means we've actually carved into the wood um, these sort of textures which give you the grip. And that was inspired by the texture you get on the, on the stock of the shotgun. On the, on, the, on the doors themselves, all Bentleys have solid timber underneath there. No one ever gets to see the substrate underneath. So on this car, we, we carved it away. We machined the veneer away to reveal the straight grain. And people find it so fascinating to be able to see the construction, see the dovetail joints actually exposed. It proves it's solid wood. It's, it's so honest to the materials we're using. Okay, you're on a motorway, and um, you know, it's say in the UK, speed limit 70 miles an hour. The, because this is a TFT screen, because it's actually a display, we can set the speed so that when the needle's you know, exactly in the middle, it would be maybe at the maximum speed, legal speed limit for that country. And the increments are sort of set in, in accordance with the speed. When you're in town, it would, it would know you're in town. It would know that maybe the speed limit's 30 miles an hour. So the increments would change, and therefore the calibration of the speed would change. But then, if you're off-road, you don't need the instruments. You don't need to know how fast you're going necessarily. So the speed over might change to a compass, the ref counter could change an altimeter, but that works on its own. It's all integrated into the design, so it's sort of seamless. It's as if a butler's sort of helping you, you know, with, with the sort of day-to-day -day running of the car.